This is Jay Big Ticket 23 from GrainPCGamers.com. In this video, we're going to show you how to replace a failed hard drive using the Perk H200 RAID utility. Um, so, if you have a server that has an H200 RAID controller installed into it, um, and you might be running uh, RAID 1 or RAID 10 with that RAID controller, um, and you have a hard drive that is blinking amber, or maybe uh, maybe it's not a hot plug drive, and your RAID utility is telling you that. Uh, there has been an exception detected and that it is currently in a state degraded. Um, this is the video that's going to show you how to activate that uh, the replacement drive that you install um, to get your system back uh, to an optimal status. Um, so um, hopefully you have a, a replacement hard drive available at this point, but if you don't, um, you're going you're gonna to need to get a replacement hard drive to replace the failed drive, and then you'll be able to follow the steps on this video, um, and then you will be able to uh, make your system happy again. All right, so let's get to the actual uh, video on how to you know, make the system happy. So this is what you're going to see um, if you do have a failed drive. Um, and uh, so we're just going to press any key, and that's going to bring us into our H200 utility. We'll go ahead and hit enter under the perk H200A, and then we'll go to RAID properties. We use the arrow keys to get to RAID properties, and then hit enter. So as you can see, our our uh, our failed drive isn't even showing up. So at this point, you'll want to install your replacement hard drive, and then you'll reboot this utility. And so when you reboot the, the utility, you'll go down when the replacement drive is installed, and you're going to hit enter and activate RAID array. It's going to bring up this screen, and we're going we're gonna to say, you know, yes. And at this point, you're going to see that our ta the task is saying 0% synced because the RAID is now rebuilding with our replacement drive. So we'll refresh it here in a second, but you'll also see that the drive status is rebuilding. The drive isn't showing up quite yet, but there, there it goes. So now it's showing as rebuilding. Um, so that's pretty much all there is to that. So now you're going to want to escape out of this utility. You'll be able to reboot and let that drive sink in the background. I mean, you're going to notice some slower speeds until that uh, until it's fully synced. Um, but that's as simple as, as it is to, to replace that failed hard drive. Um, hopefully this video was helpful to you. If it was, please consider subscribing to the channel. Um, and, and as always, if you have any questions, feel free to comment below and we'll be happy to try to, to answer those questions as soon as we can. Thank you so much for watching.